<clears throat> class, let us stand up and ask the guidance of our Almighty God. Amen. Good morning, class. Before you take your seats, kindly pick up all the pieces of trash on the floor and arrange your chairs properly. Secretary, do we have a bit, any absentees for today? To begin with, let's have first a review, class. What are the things that we discussed yesterday? Yes, catering services. Please give an example of types of catering services. Great job! Can you tell what is corporate service? Very nice! Do you have any questions about our previous topic? Now class, before we jump to our topic, let play, let's play a game. Okay, I will group you into two. Students who will get the correct answer will receive plus points. The game called Courage. Well done. It's book of Larry time. What do you mean by banquet? Okay, that's great. Now, how about the catering? Any idea? Very good. Thank you. So the banquet and catering is not the same. Okay, class? Very nice. Have you enjoyed our game? Our topic for today is about catering tools and equipments. First one is large equipment. These are the equipment or items that are big and sometimes fixed. They are heavy and clumsy to more about easily. Examples include working tables, cooking ranges, sinks like washing basins, refrigerators, and fryers. Which other items are considered large equipment in the kitchen? That's good. We can add ovens, microwave ovens, freezers, dishwashers. And the next one is small equipment. They are sometimes referred to as tools. They are small, easy to carry about, and very important in the catering business. Take a flashback into the kitchen and list all the tools that can be put under this group. These include knives, openers, spoons of all kinds and sizes. Graters, pestles, mortar, colanders, sieves, kitchen scales, that is good attempt, keep it up. And the next one is mechanical equipment. There is yet another group which are classified as mechanical equipment. They are operated by electric electricity and are also referred to as appliances. Examples are mixers, blenders, liquidizers, slicers, mincers, electric kettles, food processor, rice cookers, toaster, coffee makers. Now, let's see how can classify the equipment according to their functions. The following function can be performed using tools and equipment. Measuring, mixing, baking, cutting, cooking, and preparation tools. Number one is measuring tools. They are the tools used to gauge or estimate the quantity of ingredients such as liquid powders and floors are granules. Measuring tools used for liquids are usually made of glass or clear plastics with pouring lips and have clearly marked measurements. They are either jugs or cups and sizes available are 1 cup, 2 cups, and 4 cups. Metric liquid measures come in 250 ml, 500 ml, or in 1 liter sizes. There are measuring tools used for measuring dry ingredients like powders, flour, granules, and ground. They are usually made of hard plastic or metal. Though, they are used to measure small quantities of liquid during cooking. They are also available in cups, one for cups, one third cups, one and a half cup, and one half cup sizes. With the MacRib equipment being 50 ml, 125 milliliters, and 250 milliliters. Spoons are also used for measuring ingredients, although we can use the normal teaspoon, dessert spoon, and tablespoon measure. Specially designed ones are available on the plastic and use. Measuring amount of both dry and liquid ingredients, they are available in 1 4 teaspoon, 
one and a half teaspoon and one teaspoon and table one tablespoon sizes the metric equipment is one millimeter two millimeter five millimeter and 25 milliliter and the next one is mixing tools they are very essential in many jobs in the kitchen they are used for stirring beating and whisking they include wooden spoons metal spoons whisk wooden spoons come in a variety of sizes and used mainly for stirring and mixing during meal preparation metal spoon also comes in the different sizes and shapes and are used for stirring dishing up folding of ingredients in our floor cookery whisks are used to beat mix and incorporate air into mixtures they include rotary whisk and whisk beaters balloons whisk and spring whisk and that is mixing tools number three is baking tools they are the tools that aid pastry making baking in general these tools include spatulas of all sizes made from wood flexible stainless steel metal and soft flexible plastics they are used to turning fish meat pancakes omelets and eggs when frying they include fish sides with bent handles slotted spoon straight edge spatulas are used to spread icing on cakes to level dry ingredients during measuring example the palette knife flexible rubber or plastic spatulas are used to scrape bowls and pans and also for folding one ingredients into another number four is cutting tools they are the tools that aid in cutting chopping shredding and peeling of ingredients they include please note this a knives of all kinds and sizes used for cutting slicing chopping and deboning the blade of the knife can be either smooth sharp or separated so tooth edge and sharp examples of cook knives sometimes referred to as utility knives slicing knives utility knives and paring knives did you get it okay a french chef or cook's knife is very versatile of all the knives because it does of the chopping cutting and dicing of fruits vegetables slicing knife is usually most mostly for cutting vegetables meat firstly poultry bread and soft just as tomatoes a utility knife a good all-around knife used for cutting tender vegetable cheese trimming fat from meat and the paring knife is the smallest of all the knives and the use for peeling trimming cutting ice out of vegetable letter b kitchen shears or scissors are used only for food preparation and for trimming vegetables and herbs shears or scissors can be used for preparing cleaning fish and poultry but they are heavier than the ordinary kitchen scissors they are used to cut through poultry trim of fins and gills of pitch and for cutting through bones of the fish letter c pillars pillars are used to cut or remove the outer skin of the fruit vegetable they peel just the skin therefore nutrients under the surface of the vegetable or fruits are preserved they are also used to make decorations for garnishing like decorative carrots cheese curls chocolate curls and decorative decorative cucumber b shredder shredder or grater is usually four-sided metal tool used to grate and shred food items such as cheese carrots chocolates okra cabbage or anything that can be great the openings on the sides are different sizes and dimensions therefore afford one to greater or one shred in four into either small or large pieces shredder to grates are also made from hard plastics and can also be made flat front flat triangle and flat square shapes can you mention other food items that can be grated okay thank you cutting boards are made from woods or hard plastics usually in the rectangular kitchen cabinet or counter they are used for cutting and chopping foods to protect the surface of working tables and the countertops did you get it and for the five cooking and the other preparation tool and utensils 
They are the tools and utensils that help in cooking which include saucepans, frying pans, casseroles, pressure cookers, tongs, kitchens, forks, ladle, colanders, stainers, and slips. These are made from metal, aluminum or stainless steel, glass, earthware, plastic, some of them are coated to make non-stick cookware. When used, food does not stick or get burned. Saucepans and pots are used normally used for cooking food in water and other liquids over direct heat. Saucepans are usually have one long handle and pots have two handles. Okay class, do you understand a lesson for today? Very good. Class, if you understand the lesson, can you give the three sizes of equipment? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see if you really understood the lesson. There's a half board work. Tell me if it is large, small, or mechanical equipment. Are you ready, class? What is this? Very good. And this? Yes, that's right. It's an oven. And the third one? Yes, it's a rice cooker. And the fourth one? Okay, thank you. You may now sit down. Lastly, very good. I hope you will understand the lesson. And for your evaluation, I will group you into two groups. I will divide into two groups of your class. And each group will make event. And assume it is a real catering. The teachers will come as your guest. Again, the teacher will come as your guest. Make it unique. Present all the sizes of equipment and catering tools. I will give you the rubrics or the criteria for your presentation. And for your assignment, prepare for your big project. That is your assignment. Okay, class. Goodbye and see you again next week.